November 1980, short and English intermediate grade. Get ready for the dictation. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Start. Brothers and sisters, I am happy to address the students of the high schools and colleges in this city. on the occasion of the independence day celebrations and to express a few words i had my early education in one of the schools in this city and for this reason also i am pleased to be with you this evening you are the future citizens of this country and therefore it is necessary for you to know something about the history of our nation of course you would have studied in your classes histories of a number of countries in some detail you would have learnt many subjects which would be useful to you in future but i think it is my duty to refer to you on this occasion about some important matters which you should remember in your own interest and in the interest of the country and the people you know india is a great country it has produced eminent leaders it has produced outstanding persons in different walks of life in spite of all this for a variety of reasons india was governed by a foreign power for some years and during that period there was no progress and people were in difficulties they had no opportunity to get good education they had no chance to occupy high positions in public life but on account of the struggle and sacrifice of our great leaders and the determination of the people india has become free from foreign rule now our people are having a number of opportunities to progress in many ways we are free to plan our future we have freedom to get the type of education we want we are free to develop our economy in the manner we like thus you will see that these are the advantages of freedom which we wanted to have therefore we should always remember that it is on account of the great sacrifice made by our leaders in the past that we are enjoying the benefits of freedom today while we are proud that we belong to an independent nation we should also know that our leaders were able to get independence on account of the unity of the people on this occasion everyone should remember that only when we are united we can march forward if on the other hand we find fault among ourselves we cannot progress we should always remember that we are indians and that we should work together for the welfare and prosperity of the people of the country as a whole i would like to make an earnest appeal to you on this day after receiving your education in the schools and colleges some of you may become engineers some of you may become farmers some may become 
doctors. Some may work in government offices. In this manner, each one will also be engaged in some work. In any work that you may be doing in future, you should work hard. Letter from Kumar and Company, Bombay to Mrs. Thomas and Company, Netaji Road, Nagpur. Dear Sirs, we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th December asking for the price list of motor spare parts produced by us and thank you for the same. We have great pleasure in enclosing the price list as desired by you. You will be aware that we are one of the leading producers of motor spare parts in India. During the last 45 years, our spare parts have been popular and are in great demand in all parts of the country. We will consider your request for appointment as a dealer. We can now give you a commission at the rate of 5% on the sale price of goods sold through you in your area. If you can collect the money from the parties within a period of 15 days from the date of supply of goods, we will be pleased to give you an extra commission of 2%. We shall be glad if you will consider the matter and let us have your reply at an early date so that we can finalize the arrangements. Yours faithfully.